Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design micro strip narrow band band stop filter with L resonator using HFSS software. So this figure shows this is the general configuration for TEM or quasi TEM narrow band band stop filters. So this figure here, the first figure represents main transmission line is electrically coupled to half wavelength resonators and the second figure represents main transmission line is magnetically coupled main transmission line is magnetically coupled to half wavelength resonators in a hairpin in either case the resonators are spaced a quarter guided wavelength apart so now here a simple and general approach for the design of narrow band band stop filter is based on reactance or susceptance flow parameters of the resonators. So in this design, I used a 5 pole Chebyshev low pass prototype with a pass band ripple of 0.1 decibel. So, this is the general structure of the micro strip narrow band band stop filter with L resonator. So the micro strip band stop filter uses L shaped resonators coupled to the main transmission line both electrically coupled and magnetically coupled. So this main transmission line is electrically coupled and magnetically coupled transmission line. So for micro strip design a commercial structure. So now we are in this design I use Rosers RT or Duraid 6010 material and its director constant is 10.2 and I am considering the height or thickness of the substrate is 1.27 mm and 50 ohm transmission line. So both the ends of the uh, both the ends of this main transmission line I use 50, uh, 50 ohm transmission line. And operating frequency is between 3 to 4 gigahertz. For 3 to 4 gigahertz, for 50 ohm transmission line, the line width is 1.1 mm. So this is the main transmission line. These are the L-shaped resonators, and the uh, length of the L-shaped resonator is 8.9 mm, and uh, horizontal length of the L shape is 8.9 mm and vertical length of the this shape is 7.9 mm and the spacing S1 and S3 S5 spacing is 0.292 mm and S2 and S4 spacing is 0.221 mm and S3 spacing is 1 0.102 mm that is the uh, width of the main transmission line and L shaped resonators. So now open HFSS software. So the length of the substrate is 64 mm and width of the substrate is 32 mm. Select the box, draw the box anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this box, this is substrate and select the type of the material. Here I am selecting rosers rosers RT Dura 6010 and its dielectric constant is 10.2. Now change the dimensions of the substrate, the length and width of the substrate and x size. So length is 64 mm and y size is 32 mm and height of the substrate is height here I am considering 1.27 mm minus 1.27 mm and position x position value is half of the x size value before indicating negative sign minus 32 
and y position value is half of the y size value before indicating negative sign minus 16 mm and z position is 0 mm click ok button press fit all so this is substrate so below the substrate we can design below the substrate you can design ground plane select the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is ground plane so the length and width of the ground plane is same as that of the length and width of the substrate and x size is 64 mm y size is 32 mm axis is the z axis position is minus 32 mm minus 16 mm so ground plane is below the substrate now the jet position is uh, minus 1.27 mm so the height of the substrate is 1.27 mm that ground plane is below the substrate so the jet position is minus 1.27 so click ok button and this is substrate on the top of the ground plane is so this is ground plane on the top of the ground plane is substrate so on the top of the substrate we can design micro strip narrow band bandstop filter first draw the main transmission line select the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is main transmission line So now change the dimensions of the main transmission line and axis is the z axis x size is 64 mm minus 64 and for 50 ohm transmission line the width of the main transmission line is 1.1 mm and position x position is 32 mm and y position is and half of the y size value before indicating negative sign minus 1.1 by 2 z position is 0 mm click ok button. So this is main transmission line and after that draw the L shaped resonators so this L shaped resonator so the horizontal length is 8.9 mm and vertical length is 7.9 mm and this width is 1.1 mm and the spacing the main transmission line and L shaped resonator that spacing S1 is 0.292 mm select the rectangular sheet select the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane and give the rename of this rectangular sheet is L shaped resonator horizontal 1 and now change the dimensions of this rectangular sheet and x size this is x axis so x axis the length is 8.9 minus 8.9 and width is 1.1 mm minus 1.1 mm and position and uh, this length is 64 this length is 64 and half of its value is 32 so this uh, the length of the 50 ohm transmission line is 10 mm so subtracting 10 mm from 32 uh, we get 22 so that 22 is the x position value of the this l shaped resonator and y position is and uh, this width is 1.1 and half of uh, that 1.1 is zero point five five plus the spacing S one is 
and uh, this horizontal length is 1.1 adding all that values so that is 1.942 so the x portion value is sorry the y portion value is 1.942 before indicating negative sign minus 1.942 and z portion is 0 mm so click ok button This is uh, 1.1 by 2 plus 0.292, so 0.842 minus 0.842. Why push the value? Next, select the rectangular sheet. Draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So this rectangular sheet is L resonator vertical 1, L resonator vertical 1, and change the dimensions, and that vertical length is 7.9, and Y size is minus 7.9. So this is y axis this is positive y axis this is negative y axis so minus 7.9 and the width is 1.1 mm and x portion value is 13.1 mm and y portion is 5 this horizontal length is x portion is minus 22 and y size plus 1.1 And similarly, select this L shaped resonator vertical one, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So, give the rename of this one. This is L resonator vertical five. So, now change the dimensions, and this uh, X position value is minus 13.1. And y size is plus 7.9.
its exposition is minus 22. And this is plus 1.1. So this is this fifth L-shaped resonator. Next draw this L-shaped resonator. Select the rectangular sheet. Draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular sheet. Sheet is L-shaped resonator horizontal to. And this exposition is L-shaped resonator horizontal to now change the dimensions. So this exposition value is 13.1 and Y position is 1.1 and this is uh, positive Y axis so Y position is 0 0.77. And jet portion is 0 mm and x size and that length is uh, minus 8.8.9 .8 and width is 1.1 so click ok button next draw vertical L shaped resonator to select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this one is L-shaped resonator vertical 2. So now change the dimensions of this one. And X position is 4.2 and Y position is 1.871. Head position is 0 axis the Z axis and X size. And X size is that width is 1.1 and y size that length is 8 um, that length is 7.9 so now select l shaped resonator horizontal to press ctrl c ctrl v so change the diameter give the rename of this one L shaped resonator horizontal 4 and change the dimensions. Now the exposition is minus 13.1 and X size is plus 8.9. And similarly, select L shaped resonator vertical 5 vertical 2 select ctrl c ctrl v give the rename of this one is l shaped resonator vertical 4 now change the dimensions and x position is minus 13.1 And Y portion is 1.871 axis is the Z axis and uh, X size is 1.1 and Y size is 7.9. So click OK button. So this is the L shaped resonator of this one and this one. Next draw L shaped resonator of this one. Select the rectangular sheet. So draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this one is this is L shaped resonator horizontal 3. And now change the dimensions. And this X portion value is 4.2, Y portion is minus 0.652. Zero point six five two and jet portion is zero axis the jet axis and x size is that length is eight 
8.9 and uh, width is 1.1 minus 1.1 click ok button now the spacing is uh, the spacing is uh, 0 0.10 next draw the vertical shape Seven point So now here uh, I will change the length of the substrate so now we are correctly not matched so uh, this this uh, horizontal higher shaped resonator horizontal length is 8.9 so 8.9 into 5 8.9 into 5 44.5 and the total length I am considering uh, 64 so we now where the total length I am considering 64.5 64.5 so remaining value is 20 20 by 2 is 10 so this 50 ohm transmission line length is 10 mm 10 mm so now we are in the design so we, I am considering the the x size is 64.5 mm so this is ground plane 32.25 and this is 64.5 and uh, left hand right this one is large gentle one and this uh, exposition is 22.25 and vertical and this is uh, L shape resonator horizontal 5 minus 22.5 and 
vertical one thirteen point three five and vertical thirteen point three five here also this vertical is And this is okay, and this is okay, and this one thirteen point three five. Thirteen point three five. So this is okay, and this one four point uh, four two five. Four point four five. Thirteen point three five. Now it is okay. So now it is perfectly perfect, everyone. So now we are going to draw the vertical sheet. Select the rectangular sheet. So draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this one. This is L resonator vertical three. x size is 1.1 and length is 
7.9 minus 7.9 now select Vital so now unite main transmission line and L shaped resonators so this is the main transmission line L resonator horizontal one L resonator vertical one and L resonator horizontal 5 ok first unite L resonator horizontal and verticals so L resonator horizontal 1 L resonator vertical 1 click unite button so similarly in the same manner L resonator horizontal 5 L resonator vertical 5 click unite button Next, L resonator horizontal 2, L resonator vertical 2, click unite button. So, next, L resonator horizontal 3, L resonator horizontal 4, L resonator vertical 4. Now, assign, next assign, perfect electric boundary of the main transmission line, L-shaped resonators and ground plane. So now select main transmission line, L-resonators, L-shaped resonators, all L-shaped resonators and ground plane, right click on that portion, go to assign boundary, select perfect E boundary, click OK button. perfect electric board and now rotate the structure next rotate the structure so this is y axis and this, this is the z axis change the plane y z plane select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane Use the rename of that one. This is port one. Select this port 1, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and position is minus 32.25 mm and now select the port 1, right click on the port 1, go to assign excitation. So draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port, successfully defined. So this is lumped port excitation of port 1. And rotate the structure, assign lumped port excitation of port 2. 
Select port to right click on the port to go to assign excitation. Select lumped port. So draw the new line integration from lower port to upper port is successfully defined. Now give the analysis setup. Go to the simulation. And now the operating frequency is 3 to 4 gigahertz. I am considering 3.5 gigahertz. And maximum number of passes are 12. So this green color curve is the bandstop filter response curve. 